Okay, guys, welcome to lesson 12. We're going to learn a new word. This is a young man. He is the Neonias. Or Neonias is the young man. Isn't he handsome? The young man. Or Neonias. Now, Neonias is slightly different, only slightly different, than what we have learned about Ikea so far. You'll notice instead of just a regular old ah, it's neanias. There's an as there. So here are all the endings of neanias right here for you to see. We have neanias, neaniu, and those are the only two that are different. Everything else is exactly like you would think. Next one is neania, and then neanian. And then, neonia. Now the plurals. You want the plurals, don't you? Those are exactly the same. Neonie. Neonion. Neonion. Neonies. Neonies. Neonias. Two asses. And neonie. Okay. There are all ten versions of Nanias. You'll need to know them, but I wouldn't make flashcards of all of them because you already know most of those endings. The only ones that are new are those two guys. So focus on those. Nanias is young man and Neaniyu is of a young man. So pay attention to those two and then you should be okay. There's a couple other words that you'll need to know. Um, one of them is for the uh, your popsicle machine also known as a tongue. So you'll need to know your glossa. Your glossa is this guy. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, that guy's got a huge glossa. Okay, there it is. Blah, blah, blah. And he's working on that little popsicle. And he's happy about it. Okay. E glossa. Now, this little guy, Melissa. Melissa is a bee. Let me draw this little stinger. Oh, he's a happy Melissa. Melissa. So, Melissa is B. And Glossa is tongue. Okay. Oh, no. See this cliff? This guy is like, ah. He's, he is falling. So, what is he crying? He's saying, peep -toe. I'm falling. Okay, peep means I fall. Or, I am fallen. Pipto. And if you'll notice, the ending is O. So it's just like echo. You don't need to put flashcards for pipto. Piptis. Pipti. Piptomen. Piptis. Piptete. Piptete. or piptusin. It's the same. O. Is. E. Omen. Ete. Usin. Notice, pipto, I fall, piptis, I am falling, pipti, he or she or it is falling, piptomen, we fall, piptete, y'all are falling, and piptusin, they are falling. Same thing with this other one. This is a letter with a little stamp. I mean, the stamp goes over here, that's the return address, the regular address. Here's this guy holding it, and he is pimpo. I am sending. I send. Pimpo means I send or I am sending. And it has the same kind of endings as pipto and echo and treco. Pimpo. Pimpo means I send. Okay, quick review. Nanias, young man. Glossa, tongue. Melissa, B. Pipto, I am falling. And pimpo, I send. Okay, another new one. This is apo. Apo means away from. Apo, away from. Sometimes you will see it like this. Apo. Sometimes you will see it like this. The O drops off and is replaced with this little apostrophe. Sometimes you will see it like this. The O drops off and it's replaced with the apostrophe. And then the P changes to a fee. So it goes Apo. 
or up or off. All three of these are the exact same word and they change the end to make it sound better with what comes next. But all three of them mean away from. And it will take the genitive case. That's the second one down. So it's going to be that os or the own ending. Or now with neoniu, it could be the u ending. Okay, another one, ek. Ek means out of. Ek is like apo. This one means away from. This one means out of. So away from the house means you're going that way. Out of the house meaning you start in and then you leave. Those are slightly different. Away from and out of. Now ek will sometimes look like ek and will sometimes look like ex. Both of them mean the same thing, just like a napo. So don't be confused. They just change the ending a little bit to make it sound better. Here are some examples. Apo, apo, tis, ikias. Apo, tis, ikias. Away from the house. Apo, tis, ikias. Now, you could say, up, ikias. Away from a house. From a house. Away from a house. Notice, it changed to up. Away from a house. Up Here's another one. Af edras. Af edras. Away from a seat. So we have apotisikias. Away from the house. Apikias. Away from a house. And then af edras. Away from a seat. Here's the rules. Apo is what you use when this is a consonant. Up is what you use when you have a smooth breathing mark. Off is what you use when you have a rough breathing mark. So we have apotisikias, apikias, and afedras. Okay, now here's some out ofs. Out of the village. Ek tis komis. Ectis comis, out of the village. Notice it uses the genitive as well. And ex acanthis, out of a thorn. Ouch, out of a thorn. Okay. Ek before a consonant. Ex before a vowel. Ectis comis, out of the village. Ex acanthis, out of a thorn. Okay, good. So let's do a quick little summary of all those out ofs, away froms, and inwards we know and on. We have ek, tis, ikias, out of the house. We have apo, tis, ikias, away from the house. We have Oh, this is some kid on his roof. Et B tis ikias on the house. And then one more. In T Ikea in the house. Look at that. We have four of them. We have out of the house. We have away from the house. We have on the house. And we have in the house. Ek tisikias. Out of the house. Apo tisikias. Away from the house. Epi tisikias. On the house. And enti ikia. In the house. That's awesome, you guys. Good. Keep practicing that. Okay. Now. Last little thing here. This is kind of a short lesson. If I want to say there is something. Then I'm going to use esti. The, it, that means there is all by itself. Esti t. There is something. Esti t. Now, if I want to ask it, you you might already guess. You would just say esti t. Is there something? Is there anything? Esti t. Then tell me there is something. Esti t. Esti t. Is there anything? There is something. 
Now, if there's nothing, then you're going to say this. You're going to say, Uven esteem. Uven esteem. All right. There is nothing. Uven means nothing. Esteem means there is. So, Uven esteem. There is nothing. You could also double it up and say, Uk esteem. Uven. There is not nothing. Now, that sounds like not nothing might mean something, but when they double it up like that, it just makes it stronger. So we say, Ukestin uden. There is not anything. There is not nothing. Ukestin uden. There is nothing. Okay, that's it, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and get started on the exercise.